Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to what shall we do next and today something crazy happened first of all as you guys know in my previous video I showed you a little tour of my new set and um, one of the things I wanted to point out was I had a crucifix right here in the middle to sort of uh, keep everywhere holy because I don't want Annabelle coming to life and I definitely don't want Ballot coming to life either but I come in here today and look the crucifix has gone. It's on the floor over there. Right here. It could have been a simple, maybe I didn't put the mounting putty on hard enough, but it also could have been a ghost. This is not how I wanted to start my new set. I'm just gonna put this back. Hang on a second. Don't be looking at my booty. what's going on you guys welcome back to a first official stationary camera video um, last time I just kind of like showed you guys everything I'm still trying to work out like how I'm gonna do this because it's a little bit different like with the new set um, so I don't know maybe I'm gonna try and figure it out a little more but anyway I want to show you guys something which I briefly mentioned in my previous video which is um, in this Annabelle case right here I did have the uh, the piece of paper that says miss me right here in her hands originally and on the bottom I have my autograph from Talitha Bateman who played Janice in Annabelle creation and I got that right here I wanted to show you guys um, I did decide to take it out of there because it was uh, well I have a whole bunch of autographs and I didn't like that I had this one away from the others I like to keep them all together um, although I thought it went really well in the set here I just didn't really think it was like, I don't know, I'm just weird. It's like a little OCD thing, I guess. I wanted to keep all my autographs together. It's probably gonna be a little hard to show you guys this because it is in a reflective, like, um, plastic protector um, sleeve. But this is my autograph from Talitha Bateman. That is the actual autograph right there. Um, she hand signed this with her real raw hands. So she touched this piece of paper in here. Um, it is a photo of a shot from the movie. It's kind of hard to see because it is dark. It is one of the nighttime scenes when uh, Janice right here, you, know, you guys can see her. She's in the Mullins bedroom, um, Annabelle Mullins, reading her diary. And Annabelle is sitting right there on the side of the bed. So this is like an amazing photo. It's really hard to see because like I said, it's reflective and everything. Uh, but you can see that the autograph stands out more so than like the rest of the image so you can tell it's definitely been signed i know it's real it's not fake um it even has right here her name on the back of the thing and um it's got a certificate of authenticity with it from outlaw hobbies authentic autograph and it says certificate of authenticity outlaw hobbies is here hereby certifies that this item of memorabilia has been personally hand signed by Talitha Bateman. This item is unconditionally guaranteed for a lifetime as to its authenticity and then like the website. So um, yeah, I'm really happy about this. I really like Janice. She's definitely one of my favorite. Uh, I, I wouldn't even say just Janice. I, I wanna say Talitha Bateman is definitely one of my favorite people. Like she's one of my favorite um, actors, I guess you could say, because she, in each, like, I haven't seen her in many things, but, like, I've seen her in, um, she was in So Be It, and also, um, Vengeance, A Love Story with, uh, Nicolas Cage, and she always seems to play a very troubled child. Um, she plays somebody, like, even in Annabelle Creation, she's the main victim of all of this. Like, she's an orphan, she's paralyzed, she's got polio, and she's a victim of a demon. Um, and it doesn't have a happy ending for her in this movie. It's really kind of sad. It makes me cry and I find that like I did cry a little in so be it Just because I felt so like I felt for her and the same with um, Vengeance a love story that one really fucked me up a lot because the story to that is just awful um, Like it's so sad. It's so heartbreaking what she went through and I've noticed a pattern whenever I see a movie with her in it. She always plays like a very troubled child. Like she's going through some real hard shit that like I can't even fathom. I don't know why she chooses those kind of roles, but she has said before, uh, I think I saw her in an interview once, she said that she, she likes to or she can feel and relate to characters. And so that makes me feel kind of sad or like sad, but 
that that's what makes her so good is that she's so good at like I guess she really empathizes with the characters that she plays and so I really like I feel she's different than all the other like Hollywood celebrities she definitely has a talent when it comes to acting she really is a good actor but that's not all I feel like she just really is like a very genuine person um, especially in like today's world where like it's cool to drink alcohol and stuff like that on her birthday when she turned 21 not that long ago she mentioned on her Instagram like she's never touched a drop of alcohol in her life and she doesn't plan on it and I was like I, I thought that was really kind of um, inspiring because you know, in a world where it's cool to get drunk and it's cool to get fucked up and like all this, she's staying true to herself. She's not even interested in trying alcohol. And like, I've learned a lot about this girl and she really is something special to me. I didn't know m much about her at all until Annabelle creation. But even in that movie, I always used to say to Tina, like whenever we would watch it together, I used to always say like, that girl is just like, she's so, it, it seems so authentic. It doesn't even seem like she's acting. She just really is good. And she can like cry on command and stuff like that. Like she's a very, very talented girl. And uh, I really wish the best for her. But I, I feel like because she is somewhat, I guess like somewhat of a icon in the Conjuring universe, I definitely wanted to get like an autograph from her. Um, this is like my new thing now. I'm trying to collect autographs from like each of my favorite um, actors, I guess you could say. And uh, I really want to get one of Lynn Shea. She's doing like a, a meetup soon for like some autograph signing thing. And uh, I'm going to pre-order a autograph from her too she's the one who played elise in the insidious movies again some of my all-time favorite movies i love elise um and, she, and lynn shea is just an amazing actor too um she's just such a lovable person and she i don't know she's very again very believable and i i find that being such a movie fanatic i find that i'm very like critical when it comes to movies i i usually hate everyone and i don't want anyone to win except the demon um but these are some people that you you really kind of learn to love like you feel like you know them um and so janice is definitely an example of that because of talitha bateman's skills with acting and the same with uh, lynn shay and um there's a whole bunch of others but most of the time with actors like they i feel like i just think that they suck and um i'm overly critical and i'm aware of that but i know a good actor when i see one talitha bateman um, she's definitely somebody I really believe in and her like their whole acting thing like runs in her family Like she, her little brother was also in Annabelle number one um, He's the little boy that's sitting on the stairs drawing pictures So like it's in their family and it's it's kind of cool to me that they were both in like the Annabelle movies But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this I guess it's kind of like not really a horror movie prop But it's a collectible it's something that I'm trying to like work on is my autograph collecting and uh, Yeah, I'm very very happy with this one just because like she definitely is one of my favorite people not just as an actor but like just in general i think she's a really just genuine person and that's more than you would typically find in like hollywood with celebrities but anyway guys that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys today um i was going to show you yesterday but i didn't have the autograph here i just kind of mentioned it when i was showing you the annabelle case but anyway guys i'll see you in the next video remember the most important thing chase your dreams